Okay, so today, guys, we are at Windy Hill, and we have our high-performance program. And you know, visiting here from Florida, we have Mike Fernandez, who is an absolute baller. Watch him just crank these forehands. So we've got a stud out here playing some tennis, who's actually going to teach us today how to handle those low forehands. We have a couple of different options. Now, Mike probably has about 10 different options than you and I have, but I'm going to be teaching the players out there who are not machines like this guy who need some good advice on how to handle low forehands and not miss. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay guys, so today I'm going to give you a couple different options to handle the low forehand. Again, we have Mike here. Now, what a lot of people do is when they see a low ball, they don't realize that it's a low ball and they need to change their stroke. So a lot of people will still finish with a traditional high finish over the shoulder. I'm going to see if Mike can make a low ball, but still, like Mike, I don't know if this was your first lesson because the game has changed a lot, but my first lesson, I was taught to finish over my shoulder and catch the racket. Uh, so I want you to pretend that that was your first lesson and you got to try and, I want full acceleration, I'm going to feed the ball low and you have to finish over the shoulder and catch the racket and let's see how many you make doing this on a low ball. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, so 0 for 1. He made two, but I'm not sure he finished over his shoulder. He finished over the shoulder there. Let me see if I can skid it. <laughs> well, see, that's usually what happens to people, right? I'm, I'm being really mean. But look how good Mike is. But what he has, what he has is he has a big sweeping action. So he's so darn talented and he's played so much tennis that he can get away with what you and I can't get away with. He's still doing what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. So most of us are not going to be able to finish over the shoulder like that and still make a lot. They're going to go into the fence. They're going to sky. Again, we've got a machine out here. So I don't recommend that you do that. What I recommend, your first option is that when the ball goes extremely low, is that you do a windshield wiper finish. So Mike's now going to come under, up, and then turn over to the pocket. This is going to allow him some options. He might even want to hit this ball a little higher than that and make it dip. I suggest that for most of you people to, to have the ball low and then to hit it like a bullet like that, low over the net. Again, that's for talented kids. He's one of the best players in Florida. What I want you to do though is to get a little margin, give it a little lift and fall. Let's see if Mike can do that shot. You understand what shot I'm asking for Mike? Mike says, of course, I'm a professional or pretty darn close to one. Don't insult my intelligence. Okay, right Mike, let's see if you can do that. So let's see if you can go pocket to pocket. Good, get under it, get the height on that low ball. That's exactly the shot we want. So look how that racket is turning. Let's see if we can even finish lower. Good, that's right. See how it's finishing under his shoulder now. Good, that's right. Give it that lift. Good job. That was a beautiful roller right there. Look at that roll, guys. Good. And then one more for the fans at home. Hit this ball higher over the net. And I want to see if you can finish into your pocket, just so, just to give the guys some tools at home right. and the ladies, of course. Ready? Let's see a little higher and finish in the pocket. Beautiful shot. Amazing. Okay. So for some of you, even that, and even, not even even, that's tough to do what he was doing. That's going to be too tough. That's still going to be too low percentage. We all dream of hitting a shot like that, but some of us should maybe when it gets so low and we don't feel that confidence, we should go to a chip, right? So we can come under the ball and give it a little bit of a skidding action. So when the ball is coming low, lots of times you want to chip it low back. And you can do this on the forehand and the backhand side. But we're going to stick all with the forehand today. So Mike, what I want you to do with these is I want you to chip these balls back in play. All right, ready? So the ball is coming low and now you're just going to chip it back low. Good. Look at that. Notice how he gets under. It's like he's kind of like, cradling under the ball and a nice little placement. So you can really work on your placement here, move your opponent around the court. This can be a nice little strategy shot. And when the ball is skidding low at you and you can skid it low back at them, it's kind of like a little game of chicken. It's like who can make the ball skid lower and either make the other opponent make a mistake or feed a short ball. Really made him get down. That. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful, Mike. That is beautiful. I'm about to cry last one. And a lot of people, in fact, I'm going to have Mike, uh, we're going to have, have to ask him how to act because he could probably just do this and make it work magical. A big mistake that people make is when they see a low ball, 
they start running to the ball like this with a racket back and then they realize that the ball is still too far away and they end up actually having the ball bounce twice and they swing and they miss. What you watch the pros, they understand like, oh my gosh, this ball's low, I got a long way to run, and they start leading with a racket out in front. So this is a low ball that you probably have to run to. So rather than running and having your racket back getting ready to hit that a lot of people go and they swing and then they miss, you want to learn how to, you can run, you can be moving, using your arms, but then as you're getting to your last couple steps, you start to put that racket out in front and then I want you to just push it and punch it. This is when you see a lot of pros come up with their little angle shots. Mike's so good, we might even have him skid across the court. If I skid across the court, we'd have to call 911. The hot ambulance be on the way. It'd be, you wouldn't want to see it, okay? Be the end of the channel. But we're going to see if Mike can maybe do that. So Mike, what I first want you to do is I want you to be an actor. I want you to be like a club player who's seeing the short ball, but they're not quite realizing what's going on. So they're bringing the racket too far back and then they end up missing the shot uh, because they're just not ready for that. Are you ready? So I'm going I'm to bounce the ball about here. It's going to be low and let's watch this not being prepared. Let's see, if you can, let's see how good an actor he is. So that, yeah, so right, that's a, he has really watched a lot of tests because that's what a lot of people do. They end up getting there at the last second and the racket ends up moving too much and they just can't handle that shot. Now I want you to pretend, Mike, which we might see Mike someday on that red clay sliding across it. We can already see he does it on the hard court. I don't know how these kids are doing it, but he's doing it. So we're going to ask him to do that, where he's going to slide, hands out in front, nice little delicate. He can push up the line. He can hit a little angle. He can have some fun with the ball. He can even lob it over the net person. He can do a lot of things. Okay, you ready? So watch this, guys. Now Mike's going to hustle the ball, but he's going to have his hands out in front, and he's got all kinds of options. That's a pass down the line. Let's see. Can he give us a little Rafa angle? Oh, it's a Rafa angle with a slide. Oh, it's a Rafa angle with a slide. What if they're crying the net? Can you lob it over their head? Oh, they probably got an overhead on that, but that's a really tough one. Let's try that again. Hands out in front. Get under that ball. Lob over the head. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. I know Mike's a little upset because it went a little long, but I think you guys get the point at home. So that's how you handle your low forehands. That's how you handle your low forehands. Mike, come in here to, to the video. We'll finish this video up. So tell us a little bit about your tennis training. How have you gotten so good? I noticed you were working really hard on that ball machine too. What's the key to tennis success for you? Uh, loving the sport, really. I love the sport. I love being out here. Uh, yeah, I really love everything about it. I think you love the work too, don't you? The work is fun. Yeah. You're one of the few kids that I see out here by themselves. Even though we've got a lot of talented kids, he's come out here by himself. He's working hard. So that's a good message for the kids and the adults. If you like this video and if you like Mike, I always say when I got a special guest like this, if you don't like the video, I consider you kind of heartless, like, like you're insulting my guest here. So you have got to like this video. You've got to subscribe to this channel. You've got to say, hey, Mike, Thanks for taking time out of your busy day because he's working hard over there to make this video and wish him well in his tennis. And we'll see you guys on the next video.